Hello friends, Jarek here and welcome to Emberscape and today I will be hunting for fossils at a beautiful location called Kauno Marios and I expect to find some Bellum Knights and I hope a complete one and all sorts of corals or maybe something unexpected this time, I don't know, so let's go and see how the beach looks like. In my opinion this is the most beautiful lake in Lithuania and it could be the biggest lake in Lithuania too. Best thing about it, it's rich in fossils and is relatively close from where I live, around one hour drive. And spring is the best time for fossil hunting here. The ice under the soil melts away and fossils starting popping out of the ground. Yeah, beautiful place. There's a little, still a lot of ice on the shore, but there's also quite a, a bit of uncovered gravel. So we will go through this gravel and the rocks on the shores and we'll look for fossils. Okay, so fossils are here, but so far not impressive ones. For example, this is piece of coral in a rock. Not sure how well you can see it. Yeah, but it's a fossil. I won't be keeping this one. It's like not cool enough. Same as this one. There is lots of stems from the crinoids, sh some shells imprints in it. But I have a lot of stuff like that, so I won't be taking this. Maybe someone else will. Yeah, so it's quite unfortunate that uh, there is a lot of land in, in the ice. So that's the limits uh, area of my playground where I can look for fossils. But this area on the gravel is fully uncovered and that's good for me. So we will keep looking in here. Oh baby, I see it from afar. <laughs> it's quite exposed. Tiny chain coral. Quite exposed, very nice chain. Let's get it wet to see it better. And, okay, let's face the other side from the sun. Yeah, very nicely exposed chains from both sides. This will clean up nicely and will go on the shelf. This one is cool. It's my favorite coral. The chain coral. <laughs> it's called Helicites cenitipora. Neat. Helicites is an extinct genus of tabulate corals. Colonies range from less than 1 to tens of centimeters in diameter, and they were filter feeders. These tablet corals lived from the Ordovician to the Devonian time period, meaning they are more than 450 million years old. <laughs> corals are a lot better visible in the water. It looks awesome. This is Syringopora, but this one is really awesome. All the patterns from the top. Broken piece of bigger coral, probably. Yeah, this one in the pocket, for sure. I guess we will check uh, that sand over there. Yeah, this sand doesn't smell fossils, so moving on. And I was starting to get worried, where are the Bellum Knights? And there it is, broken calcified piece of a Bellum Knight. <laughs> like, it's not cool, but it looks nice in the jar, so I will take all the pieces of the calcified Bellum Knights and hopefully we will find complete one. This one is better looking, like an arrowhead. Very pointy. So pointy that camera don't want to catch that one. There we go. <laughs> Was a tiny squid. Bellamnite is an extinct order of squid-like cephalopods that existed from the late Triassic to late Cretaceous period. Unlike squid, Bellamnites had an internal skeleton that made up the cone and Bellamnite rostrum is the part that we are finding as in fossils. Wow, 
what can we see? It's coin from, from Ergosa inside. And from the looks of it, it's almost complete in there. So maybe I can prep it with Dremel and cover most part of it because uh, it looks to be in nice condition, nice fossilization. So yeah, I might do that <laughs> to get some practice with Dremel. Cool. I wonder who are you? Stonefly, maybe? Let's Terra? I'm not sure. Maybe Arturi will help me. Go, go. Go, fly. Fine, you can tag along. Let's go. More nice rocks in the gravel. This one is quite intriguing. You see this cross section? I wonder who it is. Or the ceroid, or maybe a snail, piece of a snail. Like I won't keep it, but it's still kind of neat. The color is neat. Yeah. Cool. Maybe someone will want it. We'll leave it here. <laughs> Actually, I took it with me because maybe my sister will want it. I don't know. I will ask her. I will show it to her if if she wants it. I will give it because she likes this kind of rocks to keep in her aquarium for the fishes to enjoy. <laughs> I went into water just to get a broken piece of a bellum knife. Uh, I wasn't uh, sure it was broken. I hope it will, would be complete. Oh well. Good day, because near that bellum night I see another chain coral. Look at it. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> it looks so nice. It looks like it will clean nicely. Let me try to get it. It's quite in the water. Uh, okay, I didn't fall. Yeah, awesome. I love chain coral so much. Neat. Love them. Absolutely adore them. Best corals around. And they are very old. They are older than 400 million years old. They was, were living in Ordovic up to Silurian time epoch. Then they went extinct. <laughs> For the love of God, I did step on a fossil. I was thinking just a nice rock. And this one. What is this? Is this weirdly colored orthoceroid? It might be, probably is, but interesting species. Probably. Yeah, I will leave a caption on what it is. This one is really cool. fossils anymore, but it, it just happens randomly. This is piece of crinoid stem, but unfortunately it is quite worn down. It would be, it would have this star pattern if it wouldn't be worn out. I was thinking it's turning out to be not a Bellamnite hunt because I wasn't finding much of them, but now I see a giant one. But from the very start, I see that it's also kind of broken. Yeah, let's see what condition it is. Ah, it's terrible condition. It's half of the half of the Bellamnite. Yeah, damn it. It would be a bigger one. Shame, 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 shame. Eh. Most common fossils in, in this place are Syringoporas and, 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 and pieces of crinoids in Matrix. Not the most comfortable place to walk. Still trying to watch for the rocks. It would be nice not to sit into it. So I 
I found this rock. Maybe I will try to break it with a hammer. Wonder what this thing is. Any chance for a trailer bite? Let's see. Let's break it. Yeah, this is the gym of the trailer bite. And don't worry, I didn't break it. It was like that. There is nothing else in that rock. I'm not sure if I should keep it. Maybe I will. Yeah, so I'm taking a little rest. I walked for quite a few kilometers. Now I need to get some water. <laughs> if someone of you are going fossil hunting, always bring enough water because once when I was amber hunting, I got so dehydrated that I barely got back home on my feet. <laughs> yeah, so don't do my mistakes. And after a few minutes, we will move forward. To look for some fossils. Spring is great time to look for fossils in locations like this one because when the ice melts it, it uncovers these layers with the fossils and the fossils just start popping up on top. Oh, such a nice rugosa I didn't expect it I just wanted to tell you about why it's good time to look for fossils in locations like that. So yeah when the sun uh, melts the ice there is you know the holes in the sediments and when these holes appears the fossils pop up on top so and that's how we find fossils like this one appear after new season so yeah that's neat and let's see maybe there's anything else <laughs> totally unexpected rugosa like a little worm cool cool love it yeah so it looks like I can't go farther because of this river. Can I call it river? Yeah, and there's lots of rocks on that side. So what I will I do is I will go from the other side. I will drive there, but it will be quite a distance, like two kilometers from this place. So yeah, it's getting, we are getting into evening. It's beautiful up here, but soon I won't have any visibility. But I still have one trick up my sleeve and I will show you my trick that I have prepared. For now, let's go to the car and let's drive to the next location. Just put this on my way to the car. Yeah, unfortunately, it's also not complete. Missing a tip on, on the point. But yeah, it's a bellum 9 and I will take it with me. This place is a lot more frozen. Even water is frozen from farther from the uh, shore. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I will go farther and hopefully there will be more promising. <laughs> oh no, this doesn't look good. <laughs> like half of this lake is frozen and half of it is not. Why? <laughs> Does that side get more sun? I wonder. I will go a little bit farther, just a bit, and then we will go back. Some interesting colors down there. And yeah, <laughs> I started filming, obviously, because I did spot something. And it's right here. I'm not, I'm not very sure, but I would guess this is orthoceroid. But I'm not sure, it has some nice colors. And the other side is also kind of interesting. I'm not convinced that it is Orthoceros, but I will leave a caption probably. Cool. Oh, ho, ho. and what is this? This looks hella impressive, to be honest. Some sort of corals, or what it is? What it is? Hmm. Some sort of colony of corals, probably. From the side looks like rugosas, but the concretion is looks crazy hard. It won't work prepping it with acid, probably. But maybe, just maybe, ultrasonic 
cleaning might help. So I'm planning to get that device and I will keep this piece. We'll take it home and when I get the ultrasonic cleaner, maybe we'll try it on this piece. <laughs> Neat. Even without prepping, it's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, into the backpack, not in the pocket this time. And what do I see? No, I see this rock. Take a look. Protoceros. And might be complete in here. Uh, but the rock is quite big. What do I do? Do I try to break it a bit? Or do I take it and try to prep it at home? Let me think for a second. Yeah, I, I can't break it. It's... Uh, too dangerous to break it. I don't want to ruin the Artoceras. What will I do is I will go look for smaller voices for now <laughs> and when I will be coming home, back, I will pin this place and maybe I will take it with me somehow, but it's quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is the same place I was before, just from the other side. I reached this place. There is a lot of nice rocks in here, but it's getting too dark to see anything. <laughs> like in real life it's a lot darker than what you see from the camera but I said I have a trick on my sleeve and let's see if it will work I did bring my UV light because I noticed that when I was at home that uh, Bellum Knight's reacting to UV light it's calcite but the thing is that my Bellum Knight's at home were polished so let's see if it will work on the ones that are not polished and he, it might be still too bright to use UV light, but I will try anyway. Yeah, as it is right now, it's still too bright. Even if it, it will work, I won't be able to see Bellum Nights yet. But it was worth trying. Anyway, I will be heading to the location I left Ortoceras at. I will try to bring him home. <laughs> I feel like Mambo Lambo. Mam Lambo. Of course, his well pieces weighted a lot more, but he also has a vehicle to troll it with him. I will try to pick my in my hands. Okay, we are back. Let's touch our Ortoceras. Maybe there is something else inside, who knows, right? We'll try to put it into the bag and into my backpack. But if it doesn't fit, I will just carry it. Ha, it did fit. It's gonna be easy. Okay, let's get home now. The terrain is quite rough. Everything is uphill. My backpack is crazy heavy right now. Let's get back to the car sooner. Uh, we are home now and I'm working a little bit with a chisel on this big rock with Ortoceras and guess what? That, there's one more. That's the initial one and there's one more. And now I'm getting quite excited, there might be even more. And so this is the Todays loot, the obviously bunch of broken pieces of the Bellum Knights, while the best art is the tiniest one the tiny squid one. Then we have this Ortoceras. It's quite interesting because it has uh, fossilized one uncommon part from this side, like these ridges here. I might try to prep it out to see how it looks like a little bit closely. And it has some cool color and I will definitely clear this fossil and add into my collection. Then I'm really happy with this super tiny Rugosa because it's super cute, see? <laughs> I like the tiny fossils a lot, a lot. Then, of course, we have this big block of colony of Rugosa corals. And yeah, I'm not sure how to clean it. I was thinking maybe ultrasound cleaner will help, but I'm not so sure. Well, I will test my Dremel, Dremel engraver on this one and maybe it will be easy prep. 
who knows in any way in the future videos then obviously i have the pgdm of the trilobite which i'm really happy about it, it looks like it exceptionally nicely preserved with the shell on the top of it yeah we just need to remove this excess matrix from the top because i can display it nicely in any way and i'm really happy with this jar or i don't know how to call this dish this dish of corals and yeah they look really nice when wet i didn't show all of them when i found them for example this one absolutely gorgeous uh, crinoid cuts on it if i will polish it or i don't know it will look exceptionally nice because right now it looks cool only when wet same thing with most of the other coral corals and about the cleaning of corals as you can see this one like take a look how it looked before when i found it and now it looks like this because it is in the process of cleaning the matrix from within and when it will finish it will be like hollow from both sides and all we will have left is chains but and and i'm using the ultra cleaner device for this task and the matrix is very solid in this piece of coral like close to this one and it does clean up but very very slowly so i will show the full process uh, how i clean these fossils with the new device in the next video and this is so far very very promising results like same thing with this tinier one it was exposed a lot already but it did clean even more i'm not sure if it's possible to make this one hollow but in any case like it's really cool yeah and I basically will be testing which one can be clean, which one can't. Because this Syringoporus, I'm thinking it will be really hard clean. And of course, this interesting piece of Nautiloid with these nice ridges on it. And not to forget the prized piece of the hunt, the block of Artoceras. And I did start prepping from this side already, removing some matrix. Maybe you don't see it clearly, but this is the uncovered baby, which wasn't visible initially. And it's interesting to see how complete this one will be, because there is another one from the other side, which I did notice, obviously, this one. So this is like... This prep will take me like lots and lots of hours. It takes me really slowly to proceed, but eventually there will be a video of full prep of this block. And for now, I guess this is it. So yeah, guys, this is it for the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And see you next time. Bye.